we're diving into Phone and Foga, a powerful OSINT tool used by cybersecurity professionals to investigate phone numbers. As it uses open source intelligence, it isn't hacking. It is an advanced information gathering tool designed for scanning phone numbers using only public data. The install? Very easy. Head to the GitHub link for Sundown Dev. I have placed in the description to see how this can be installed. There are three links in the install page. Copy them in sequence. The first link uses curl to download Sundown Dev's phone and FOGA code. Once pasted, press enter and the code will download to the Linux directory you are in. Now, copy the second link, which is the install part of the process. Paste it into the CLI and it will install pretty quickly. I have it already installed, so it is super fast for me. Run a quick ls command and it will show the phone in FOGA application within your current directory. The last part is to check you have downloaded the latest version, which you know you already have, as you just downloaded from the website at GitHub. Now for the fun part, let's run a scan. Heading back to the website, head to the usage page and it will show the simple syntax for the CLI. Using the command phone in FOGA scan minus N, followed by a number of your choice and you are set. Remember, you must prefix it with your country dialing code. I have had this particular number bugging me for a while now, so I will try that. Once you press enter to let the process run, it displays a bunch of links, as well as some info about the country of origin and the dialing codes. The links, if you click on them, will display Google searches based on social media and general searches, etc. Personally, I think it's a little clunky, so there is a way around this. Sundown Dev has built into this a clever web server, so copy the code on the usage page further down. Clear the screen with the clear command and paste the web server code into your prompt. Press enter and it will now be listening on port 5000. When you head back to your browser, you are going to use the loopback address of your laptop, followed by a colon and port 5000. And voila, phone in FOGA is now ready. Using the same pane in the ASS phone number I used for the CLI search, I will input it here. Click lookup and you will see similar information you saw in the CLI with a country of origin and international number. Scrolling down further, the API for NumVerify isn't needed for this demo. However, the Google search is, so click on the run button to expand it. The first area is social media, so expand this list. Expand the number zero and you will see the Google search for this number using Facebook in the URL. It actually brings up some information warning about this number. They say it could be an insurance scam, so be wary of that. Going back to Phone and Foga, we expand the second link, and this is for Twitter. If this is a scam, they are not likely to have much of a social media footprint. Clicking the link confirms this. I actually prefer to just click on the general link and expand the zero. The search is a more generalized Google search, throwing up more results. As you can see, the first link it shows is making out that this number is negative and likely a scam. The Who Called Me site is actually pretty good as it relies on members of the public to share their experiences of scam and prank calls. It confirms it is a scam insurance call. Save the number in your phone book under scam so you'll know next time. Thanks for watching this one today. Vishing is becoming a large part of hacking now, using AI voices as well. Please research the numbers that call you, that you do not know. Never answer them. Like, share, and subscribe for more useful cyber stuff.